Imagine in five minutes' time, everyone in the entire planet was going to jump at exactly the same time. From London to Sydney, Delhi to New York, 6.9 billion people leap in the air. Could they make the Earth move? Ladies and gentlemen, this is something they call a groundbreaker. Now, the reason why I think that this urban legend could hold a grain of truth is because it is actually possible to affect the motion of the planet. Now, if I set myself spinning, just like the Earth, I go this fast. But if I pull my hands in, I go a lot, lot faster. And it's exactly the same with the Earth. An earthquake can change the speed that the planet rotates by shifting rock around the Earth's crust. This happened recently when the Japanese earthquake made the Earth speed up, shortening the day by nearly two microseconds. So the big question is, could we affect the way the Earth spins? So I want to get the crowd over there at the main stage to all jump at the same time, and I'm hoping it's going to make a small earthquake. And then with a bit of maths, I can scale that up and see what would happen if everyone around the Earth jumped at the same time, and whether that would change the speed of the spin of the Earth. Meanwhile, a kilometre and a half away, there's a man in a field who knows that size matters. He's a seismologist, here to measure the impact of our festival earthquake. Can we test it? Yes. Oh, look at that. Nice one. That is brilliant. All I need to do now is convince a crowd of 50,000 to jump at the same time. Are you ready to do this, Craig? I'm ready, let's do it. So how are you feeling, Reading Festival? <laughs> right now, we're going to try something that has never been done at Reading before on the main stage. This man is Greg Foote. Can everybody wave at Greg from BBC Three? Hello, Greg. Hey, Reading, how are you doing? OK, so we are going to try to make an earthquake. What we need all you guys to do is jump and land and hit the ground at exactly the same time. Don't do it yet. Get ready to do it. We're going to count you down. We've got scientists who are going to measure the ground and we're going to get Reading Festival on the Richter scale. Are you ready to do this? All right, we're going to count you down. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, jump! Yes, that'll do it. Because this is Reading, we'll call it the Rockter scale the for Rockter now, The Rockter scale, Greg. nice. Hopefully someone's going to run on in a minute. Have we managed to make an earthquake, Reading? Apparently at 0 0.6 on the Richter scale, you successfully made an earthquake, Reading! Good work! Thanks, Thanks guys! Thank you. That was amazing. How did it look? Well, yeah, the jump shows up really clearly. So, Paul, we've managed to detect that 1.5 kilometres away with 50,000 people. Yeah. If we have everyone in the whole world jump at the same time, could it change the length of the day? Um, it's a bit more complicated than that. Although our crowd of 50,000 scores an impressive 0.6 on the Richter scale, Two, one, earthquakes don't affect the planet's spin until they reach at least eight. And for this, you'd need seven million times more people than currently live on the planet. OK, so the urban legend is completely untrue. You cannot shift the planet if everyone jumps at the same time. You can't even change how fast it spins. There's no truth in it at all.